Hi Crypto Devs, Liarco here, and in this video about the ERC721 collection project from the Ashlips Lab, we are gonna go through the DEP project structure so we can have a better understanding of all the files and folders you can find there. Let's get into it. In the previous video, we took a look at the smart contract folder, but in this project, we also have a dedicated minting DEP, which is located into the minting DEP folder. This DAP is using React as a framework for its components and the Webpack in order to compile and optimize scripts and styles in a convenient assets bundle. The folder structure is pretty simple. So the first folder is probably the least interesting one, at least from a development point of view, and it is the public folder. As you can see, it now contains just an index.html file, which is the main entry point for our app and this file contains the main HTML markup. This same folder is also the target for the build step. So whenever you build your dApp, you're gonna find another folder here called build, and that folder will contain all the compiled assets, scripts, styles, images, and so on. In most situations, you won't need to make any change to the index.html file, as well as any other file inside this folder. The SRC folder contains the code and static assets for our DAP. We have an image folder, which is self-explanatory, a scripts folder for all the TypeScript code, and a styles folder for the SCSS code. The scripts folder contains main.ts, which is our entry point for scripts. This file requires the main components and initializes the DAP. As you can see, the styles are also imported by the main script, so everything is connected together with the scripts acting as a centerpiece of the DAP. If you watched the previous video, you might have noticed some errors on imported resources in the smart contract files. The same is happening here on all the external dependencies. This happens because this is still a brand new project and I didn't install any dependency yet. So if you see this kind of errors, this might be the cause. Let's fix it quickly. I open two terminals and I install the dependencies in both the smart contract and also the minting DAP folder. Now you can see that the errors are gone and the same also applies to the smart contract. So if we open the Solidity file and we go to the imported resources everything is working correctly. As we can see from the main.ts file, the DAP is using the same exact configuration file as the smart contract. That's why you won't find any configuration data inside the minting DAP folder. In the scripts folder, we also have a couple of subfolders. lib, which contains some utility code, pretty much like the lib folder from the smart contract, and React, which contains some React components used by the DAP. Of course, the main component is the DAP one, which is managing the state of the app and it's also using the other components. In this way, we can split the code into multiple parts. The styles folder contains a very simple entry point called main.css, and this one is responsible of initializing the Tailwind system and also importing other styles files. I decided to split the styles in two files, general.css and minting-dap.css, in order to improve readability a bit. Some developers were concerned about using SCSS or even using Tailwind from SCSS instead of calling the classes from the markup. The reasons why I decided to implement it this way are simple. First of all, SCSS is completely compatible with plain CSS, so you can use CSS code and your app will compile fine anyway. On the other hand, using Tailwind classes from SCSS instead of the HTML markup allowed me to keep a much cleaner markup inside the React files. And it also makes it really easy to remove all the styles and start from scratch while keeping the same base markup. In order to do this, you can simply remove the content of the SCSS files and start from scratch. Out of these folders are a bunch of configuration files, and the most important ones are the tailwind.config.js, which contains the Tailwind configuration and we will see how to use it in one of the next videos, 
and webpack.config.js which contains the build configuration, and this can be useful if you ever need to make some advanced customizations. Same as with the smart contract, the package.json file contains the list of the available scripts. So this is a general introduction to the minting depth structure. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at the collection configuration in order to start creating a real collection project. And that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions or anything you would like to see in the next videos, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and bye!